going on guys welcome back to another sunday vlog so i'm actually in toronto for an event uh here in the city for about 48 hours uh, we have an event with soho for gucci so we're gonna be presenting a mini bag from the gucci collection so yeah the event is happening on thursday i got in today wednesday took the train here about five hours actually wasn't as bad as i thought it would be because the train the train ride is pretty smooth and i got to do a little bit of work which is always good so yeah uh we actually have a team meeting right now so i'm gonna head to that right now and uh, yeah 48 hours toronto enjoy the vlog Last night, not that long. Like an hour. Yeah. Cut down the group. Yeah. Because it would have been too up. Yeah, like only until <laughs> something really bad happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah. half so picking up the vlog, I am now heading to the event. The event starts at 6 p.m. It's currently 5.15. Running a little bit late, but I just finished getting ready. Wanted to show you guys what I'll be wearing. So decided to go with these beautiful 2017 Gucci shades, which I don't wear all that often, but beautiful pair of shades. And in terms of everything else, we have this blazer by uh, Yuki Hashimoto. You guys have definitely seen me wear this one with the pants that it comes with. And then for the shirt, we have this printed shirt. I forgot what brand this is. And then on feet, I'll see if I can put the camera somewhere. So yeah, so on feet, we have these pants here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move the, I'm gonna move here so you guys get a better view of the outfit. At the bottom, we have these beautiful pants by these two Instagram influencers. I always forget the name of the brand, but yeah. And then for the shoes, we have Danjeev. So we just concluded the event. It went really well with the Soul House. Actually, a few clients attended and we managed to sell a bag or two. So that was really good. Uh, we did try to go to the Ace Hotel as an after party because there was a couple events going on in the city. But the, uh, the line was way too long and they were making us wait. And I usually don't like waiting in line. So I was like, you know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna go home so I'm back at the hotel right now, gonna order some food, do a little bit of editing. I'm editing a video that's supposed to come out before this one. So I'm gonna try to finish that one and then head to bed. I'm trying to get a good night's sleep just because last night was pretty crazy. We went to bed around 2 a.m. I think. So I'm gonna try to sleep, sleep a little bit earlier today. Maybe, hopefully hit the gym in the morning, we'll see. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Peace.
all right good morning guys so i am back in uh, montreal uh actually heading to the gym right now uh toronto was good man it was pretty short uh the event re went really well uh, i got to meet a few clients now you guys know since i work online a lot of the times you don't get to meet these clients in person so it's always nice to be able to meet them and just chat you know some of them i've been working with them for about well over three years you know so it's nice to finally meet especially now that we get to travel you know after everything that happened in 2020 so yeah so now i'm gonna head to the gym uh i think i'm doing a deadlift day today so that should be interesting and uh, yeah try to shoot everything and then that will probably conclude the video Yo, 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 yo. I took the mic off of my uh, camera so you guys can hear me better. But yeah, um, so I just finished the workout and uh, felt really good, man. I didn't have a good night's sleep, but um, still got it in, got it done. I really wanted to deadlift before the end of the week. So that felt good to get that done. Did about 
two sets of three reps at uh, 370, 370 pounds. So yeah, the strength is definitely getting back up there. But yeah, I just wanted to sit here and just chat with you guys um, at the end of this vlog because like, you guys know I've been doing this whole YouTube for a while. I think 2017, but I think I kind of started taking it a little bit more seriously during the pandemic. Not that I didn't take it seriously before, but just um, I guess I was a little bit more consistent with it once I could organize my time better, right? And it just got me thinking of how far I've come with regards to just all these fear that we tend to hold on to, right? Like just everything that has to do with you wanting to do something and just always putting it off to tomorrow because you're fearful, you're hesitant, or you don't know where to start. And I think when I look at like social media today and what it's brought in my life, just being able to look forward to something else other than your regular nine to five or um, just going on about your, your weekends, just, you know, whether it's hanging out with friends or, you know, partying, just having that purpose, that, that little thing that's, that's yours that you can consistently groom and get better at has definitely been one of the best feelings for me you know um when i look back as when i finished university and just really not being sure what i wanted to do because sometimes i look at my demographic and obviously you know i have a lot of young subscribers like 18 to 24 25 to 34 uh, majority is between you know 18 and like 35 i would say and i think that's in those times where we're so uncertain you know or we miss out on not being able to realize that time really flies man like if you don't get going with the things that you want to do time would literally fly by so i just wanted to encourage you guys and encourage myself because sometimes when i speak to you guys it's also therapy for me to really just give it your all man whatever you're passionate about whether it's fashion that we talk about on this channel or you know fitness um just figure out a way to create a brand out of it you know just market yourself and and look at yourself as you know what do i love doing and how can i find different ways of you know monetizing it making it lucrative for my life because your life will be so much more uh, fulfilled in a way you know that's what i realized right like sometimes you know I, I look at like all this content that i create or whatever or like just the fact that i'm so passionate about fashion and i've shared my outfit pictures for years and years on Instagram, you know, and just the amount of companies I've managed to work for, the amount of free clothes that I've gone in, and I'm like, all of you can do this, you know, it, I, like I'm just a guy, like I was born in France, but I was raised in Burundi, East Africa, just a small, small country in East Africa, and, you know, I got here, and I just, you know, put my head down, and I, and I worked towards the things that I kind of wanted to do, because you guys know, like, if you have African parents, you already know, like, they don't want you doing no goddamn fashion or, you know, fitness or whatever you want to do. You know, it's like either be a doctor or be a lawyer or we ain't talking to you. So just, ha just taking that leap of faith for me and deciding what I wanted to do with my life has definitely gotten me to a place where I can pay my own bills. You know, I can, you know, live a life of solitude in a way, you know, like I'm happy within who I am, you know, um, and, and I'm continuous, continuously trying to evolve and just get better at uh, whatever I'm passionate about, you know, and just know that the shit, it takes time, man. Like, you don't just, you know, you don't wake up and you have uh, 100,000 followers on YouTube or on Instagram or on TikTok or wherever. It's like, you have to be consistent and you kind of have to take this shit seriously, you know, because it can be a job. And can you just imagine being able to, like, sit there and do what you love doing every day of your life? That's the opportunity that, I feel like the social platforms have brought to us. And I think it's important that if you ain't on it producing, don't be on it consuming too much because your brain cells, man, <laughs> it's just you get dumber and dumber if you're on these platforms and you're not utilizing them to the best of their abilities. You know, you're not using it as a tool. If you start using it as something to pass time, man, you just, it's just, brainwashing you know so that's all I wanted to get here and say and 
I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.